All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brusher here. Today's goal is to find the hole when given the part. And you'll notice we're gonna use a double number line approach to solve a problem like this one here. 20 is 40% of what number? Let's walk through the steps. Our objective again is to be able to accurately use a double number line to find the hole when given the part. And here's our first problem. 20 is 40% of what number? Well, the first thing we need to think about is how do we go from 40% and get to 10%? And if you're saying we're going to divide by um, 4, then you are correct. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to divide by 4. So whatever we do to this, we want to do the same thing to our number up here. So we're actually going to take this and divide by 4. 20 divided by 4 gives us 5. And now we know that 10% corresponds to 5 in this particular um, value. Of course, we could do 20% is 10 and 15, 20, 25 to figure out what 100% is. But if you realize that 10% times 10 is equal to 100%, then we can take this 5 times 10 to get our answer of 50. And when you multiply by 10, all you're doing is moving the decimal one place to the right. So it's really easy. 5 times 10 is 50. So we're going to use this number, uh, the double number line approach to help understand and solve a variety of problems. I know some of you are looking at this and you're saying, well, couldn't you take 40% divided by 2 to get 20%? And 20 divided by 2 is 10. And then you could add 40 plus 40 is 80 percent which would be four and there are a lot of different ways to put numbers together but our main focus initially is going to be to find 10 percent of the number and then multiply it by 10. let's try out our next example 32 is 80 percent of what number well again we're thinking how do we go from 80 percent once we put it together on our double number line how do we go from 80 percent to 10 percent that's right we're going to divide by eight so I'm going to draw my line, divide by 8 to get to 10%, and I want to do the exact same thing from 32. And 32 divided by 8 is equal to 4. So that tells me that 10% corresponds to 4. Again, we could just go multiples of 4 and say 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on to get to 100%. But why not take 10% times 10 to get to 100% and do the same thing to the 4. We take it times 10 and we get our whole value of 40. So 40 represents 100% of this particular um, value. And we can use this method to help understand the entire situation. We can also break it down even more. We're going to get into some problems too. Uh, where we can recognize that if 10% divided by 2 is equal to 5%, then 4 divided by 2 would equal 2. So these things will definitely help us out. We can even find 1% and use the unit rate. Remember, 10% divided by 10 equals 1%. And when you divide 4 by 10, we just move the decimal one place to the left, and we get 4 tenths. This gives us a unit rate, and this unit rate will allow us to find any percents. Let's look at some other similar problems. Here's another one. 26 is 65% of what number? What are you going to do first to get to 10%? This is a little bit trickier. Okay, that's right. We're going to actually divide by 6.5. Here we go. We're going to divide by 6.5. And when we do the same thing to our top value, dividing by 6.5, 26 divided by 6.5. Remember, if you're ever dividing by a decimal, you're going to have to move that decimal over in your divisor. And then you need to move the decimal over in your dividend at least one spot as well, um, depending on how many spots you move it over in the divisor. But we end up with 4 as our answer. 4 is 10%, and multiply that by 10 to get the whole, which is 40. 
So once again, find 10%, then multiply it by 10. Now, not all numbers are gonna work out this nicely, and you may have to go to an alternative strategy. So we're gonna do another problem that we have to use an alternative strategy. Let's look at this one. 15 is 60% of what number? Well, if I divide by six, I'm gonna take 15 divided by six, which is gonna give me a repeating decimal. Um, or of course, I could use the fraction uh, mixed number. But it's easier if we say, well, let's divide 60% by three. Because 60% divided by three is 20%. And then we can take that value of 20% and we can actually multiply it whoops, we can multiply it by 5 to get to 100%. So we're going to do the same thing to our corresponding number. 15, we're first going to divide it by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And then multiply that by 5 to get to the 100% or the whole. And we get 25. Once we know 20%, it's very easy to come up with 10% because we take 20 divided by 2 and take 5 divided by 2 and we get 2.5. I guess it wasn't a repeating decimal after all. Uh, we can also use this strategy again. Once you know 10%, we can find that unit rate of 1% by taking that divided by 10. Or you can even take 60% divided by 60 right off the bat to get your unit rate of 1% is equal to 1 fourth or 0.25. And what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And notice it gives us this equivalent ratio. If we know 1%, we should be able to figure out any percent on the entire double number line. Let's try some practice problems now and see how you do. 2 is equal to 20% of what number? I want you to pause your screen, try to draw a double number line for these, or think of the strategy that you could use to solve the problem, and then unpause it so that we can go over the problems. Okay, let's see how you did. So if we use that strategy of finding 10% here, we would divide 20% by 2, and we would divide 2 by 2. This would tell us that 10% is equal to 1, and 100% would equal 10. And we fixed that error. So it is 10, though. The other way you could do it is 20% times 5 equals 100%, so you could take 2 times 5 to get that value as well. So... It's easy if you draw that double number line out, um, but if you think about the strategies that we developed, we can use those to solve these problems very quickly using mental math. Let's look at the next one. 64 equals 80% of what number? Again, if you're thinking of the double number line, we're gonna take 80%, we're gonna divide it by eight to get to 10%, and we divide this by eight as well. Our value is eight equals 10%, so the 100% or whole would be 80. Let's try our next one. And the next problem, here we know that 14 equals 20%. So we're going to take 20%, and yes, you could multiply it by 5 and multiply 14 by 5. Or we can find 10% and then just move the decimal one place to the right. So 20% divided by 2 would be 10%. And we're going to divide this other side by 2. So we know that 7, 14 divided by 2, 7 equals 10%. And 100%, we just move the decimal one place to the right, and we get 70. Let's try another one. Again, pause the screen, draw your double number line, and see if it helps you out. Ooh, this is a challenging one. Let's see who came up with it. If you drew the double number line, you might have realized that it's probably easiest to multiply 15% by 2 first to get 30%. And we need to multiply this by 2 as well to get 120. 
if we know that these two values correspond, now we can take 30% divided by 3 and 120 divided by 3 to get 10% is actually equal to 40 equals 40. In order to get 100%, we just multiply both values by 10, and the answer is 400. So, some different strategies you could take. You could have also found 1% by dividing both sides by 15. And 1% would equal 4, which would then give you 100%. You would have to multiply that by 100. Let's try the next one. 8 equals 40% of what number? To get to 10%, what do we have to do here? We're going to divide by 4. So we are going to do the same thing here. And now we know 8 divided by 4 is 2. And that is equal to 10%. If 2 is 10%, then to get to 100%, we multiply both values by 10. And we get 20 as our total or whole. Again, a lot of other strategies, you could have said, well, 40% plus 40% plus 20% and did some equivalent ratios there and add them together. That would be great too. Uh, this 10% rule just seems like an easy strategy uh, to solve the problems very quickly. Let's look at this last problem. 49%, 98 equals 49%. Now, to get to 10%, I could divide um, by 4.9, but that just seems complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find 1% right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and divide by 49. And what I do to one of the numbers, I'm going to do to the same thing to this other side. I'm going to divide by 49. And what do you know? This one actually works out pretty well because 98 divided by 49 equals 2. And that means that 2 is equal to 1%. If we take this divided by 49, we get 1%. To get to 100%, we're going to have to multiply both of these values by 100. So 1% times 100 equals 100%. And 2 times 100 gives us our answer, which is 200. So sometimes you can use the unit rate if that's the easiest way. Other times you might be able to multiply by 5 if you notice that a percent goes evenly into 100. And then other times we can find 10% and then use that 10% to find 100%. I hope this helped you to better understand how to convert uh, to the whole when given the part using a double number line. See ya!